A good business plan is a good place to start for raising equity capital. You've got to be convinced that your business uh, it will be successful. Uh, business plans uh, come in various types. I've seen business plans that, that are hundreds of pages long and I've seen business plans that are very simple. But most of the good ones uh, actually focus on the marketplace that they're operating in and then they focus on the numbers. By marketplace, I mean to be a substantial size business over a period of years, uh, you have to be operating in more than simply a small niche in business. Uh, as an example, uh, a venture capitalist or even angel investors or even you as an individual investor uh, need to operate, demonstrate that you're operating in a marketplace where there is a large amount of money perhaps currently being spent and then all you have to do is capture a very small amount uh, of that of that uh, marketplace in order to be successful. Operating in a $10 billion marketplace is much easier than operating in a small, narrow niche marketplace of maybe $100 million in the United States. To be a $10 million company in a $10 billion uh, marketplace is not a big feat and is believable. Whereas operating in a hundred million dollar marketplace and getting to ten million would require you to own, have ten percent of the entire market, which would be much tougher. As I mentioned, the business plan can be simple, but the numbers have to be uh, very uh, concrete and should be the predominant focus that you should have should be on your on your model for your business. You should learn Excel spreadsheet inside and out, and you should have a very, very detailed model of your business from the ground up. Uh, and it should uh, cover such things as how you acquire customers, how fast you acquire customers, what each customer means to you, and you should be able to put, have in tabular form, all the different variables of your business so that you can, you or the person examining your business for a possible equity investment can manipulate those numbers and demonstrate what it does to the business. Many times you know all of those things in your head as an entrepreneur, but putting them down on paper is a little bit harder to do. The length of your business plan has nothing to do with whether it is good or not. As I mentioned, I've seen long ones, I've seen short ones. The most, uh, the best ones that I've seen are usually pretty short. Uh, they focus on the marketplace, they focus on who they are, on their qualifications, and then they focus on their economics.